As you can see, this is the LG Direct Drive 8 5 kilo washer dryer combo. If you look over here, you can see it says Motion and Smart Think IQ, but it only has near field connection on Android. You should get your standard tray. If it's not too dirty, it's been used a lot. Probably what's most important, the controls, but maybe I'll just show you. Step it back, you know, nothing particularly. Got just a standard sticker as well as down here. Just a reminder to put all your loose items in together in a basket. See, it's got the smart diagnosis option. It figures out its own problems. So controls and then the dial to start it. So if you, you see, hear that sound, it's very familiar. Long press, or quick press on there. And you can see the LED lights up. That's a confusing point. You can see over here, <laughs> this lights, but it's not actually selected the right cycle. So that's the first point of confusion for me. This has not selected a cycle at this point. And if you see, I turn it, the LED display over on the right, that lights up to show the cotton is selected, but it will select this by default. A little bit confusing. And then you simply spin these through and you can probably see again over on the right, the spin cycles and so on corresponding. Some of them, let's say duvet, it shows the time immediately. Others, it'll do it on weight. What I found is that minimal cycle is one hour 30. And so if your garments are under the standard weight or the sort of minimum weight for that load, then it'll always show an hour 30. However, if I scroll through then the other side, you can see sportswear, gentle care, etc. Probably most of it, you know, the fastest one, you've got a quick cycle quick 30 cycle you can see that's 30 but i can and it's set to 20 degrees and 800 spin but if i tap i can then increase the spin cycle or have it not at all and i can also increase the temperature etc and you can see how that changes things so if i did it maximum if it was 40 degrees that would be 29 without the spin and then that goes up then it corresponds 43 minutes to with a 1400 spin at max temperature but you've got these options and you can see then down below you've got your wash dry cycle um or am i yeah okay and yeah you've got your wash or dry cycle again when i press play then it calculates for a few seconds it takes about 15 seconds and i guess and you can hear the locking mechanism kick in as well and then it will generally put on the little time from there. I'm gonna stop that, but you get an idea. Uh, it is empty, so it might be confusing it. And there's another point. You hear the locking mechanism. Okay, it's not doing it for me now, but anyway, there's a the double click sound which means it's locking. And now over here, what it took me a little bit of a while to get used to is actually this display. You're actually just tapping it rather than pressing it. You've got your buttons over on the left, but here, let's say if I put the dial to mix, you've got your add item option. The delay end option is actually pretty good. But now if I press play, if I did a delay end option, there's the lock. It tells me the exact time it's gonna finish. Now I can only set it by the hour, but you can go up to 19 hours. So you know, like the end of a day, it's pretty nice. You can just come home and have it ready at five o'clock so it's not sitting there getting wet and moldy again it's struggling a bit because i'm doing this on empty so it's probably not the best example but you can see i've just set this example to go off for a while you can see i can pause that and then i can still at this point you hear the lock delay end and so you don't need to worry about how long the cycle takes you just need to know when it finishes and that's the key thing um also, a quick point to note, it's got these, if you can see at the top, it says the extra buttons. It's just these down here, the extra functions are the stars. So if I want to put a child lock on, I just have to press that for three seconds. And then that, see the CL's flashing. A child can't come in and then touch it, you see, it won't change anything. It just beeps. So if you've got a child, because it's so easy to just touch it, it won't affect it at all. Again, but to get that off, I've got a long press and it's gone. Okay, so the extra functions are the ones at the bottom. You can see tub clean, crease care, child lock. And you can add an item at any point that is safe to do so, but once the water's filled up, then it's on. If you do want to just a dry cycle, turn it on without touching the dial, just press dry. 
it's a bit confusing because again that light on the dial is still lit up and then you've got your dry options and I can press it you know it'll be 30 etc but if I leave it whoops this is going through the full cycle of drying options if I leave it and just press play it will then calculate how long it thinks it needs so that's the one we use all the time and it is actually trying to do that now it, a standard I think let's say drying cycle wash and dry cycle is about three hours 30 for us with this just note that as you see here the two-in-one combo the direct drive is eight kilos of laundry but five kilos only for drying so if you are going to do a wash and dry cycle don't overdo it because obviously that can't handle it but we bought this from ao.com it was really good they do a nice service they took out our old one as well if you enjoyed the video give us a subscribe but this lg washer dryer has been great for us hope you found this video useful i'll talk to you soon thanks for watching